let's go to Drupal.org. This is the official. And that's Drupal.org, not Drupal.com. Drupal.com is not it's uh, an the official advertisement. site. It is. It is a is a official advertisement site for Drupal. Dries. Uh, now that you've brought that up, we may need to show it to me. How much have you looked at this particular site? I just uh, know it's not the Drupal site, so I don't go to it. Yeah, because it's really not a whole lot there. There's no reason to really go to it, but we'll show it to you anyways. If you go to this site, it just shows you different sites that Drupal's on. For example, in the corner is whitehouse.gov, and there's a few uh, other sites like ubuntu.com or .org or whatever. Um few other sites here, but if you scroll down, you got this little outline of this guy. This is the Almighty Dries. He's the guy in college that developed the very first Drupal so he could have a group of friends work on a web page at his school. And so this project began to develop into different things. It really didn't take off until, you know, 4.7. And uh, he's the guy that invented it. He's not in control of everything. No one's really in control of Drupal. It's a community-driven effort. Um, but this is their advertisement page. And if you were an advertiser, you could come down here and buy a little uh, ad, which maybe will be big enough someday that uh, we could buy an ad here. But I really don't see us doing that. No. Not because we're not big enough, but... The, I, we're, we're into uh, helping homeschoolers, and I don't see a whole lot of homeschoolers just coming here to check it out. I don't think so I don't either. Think so either. So, anyways, go back over to Drupal.org, and uh, the, under the right-hand side, notice the latest releases are here. Someday you're going to see 7.0 or 7.1 right here, and this will be down here, the secondary release. But go to Themes. Once you're in Themes, I want you to notice something here. You can search Themes right here. You can also search right here, but this is not the theme search. This is the entire site search, and this confused the heck out of me. I got here, and I started putting in my theme because I thought that was a search button, and, it, and they used to not have it right here. It used to be right over here, which was really hard to find. And so uh, I would search, and it would bring up the entire site. I got so frustrated. It would be frustrating. Yeah, so you can go right here, and you can type in, um, I don't know. Let's not do that. Let's just go like this. Let's just do the 6.0 because that's what we're running. 6.x. And we're going to go by sort by uh, most installed. And we're going to search. So it's going to order it from most installed to least. And Zen, which don't get Zen. Zen is for the designer. That is, when you load that up, your page will look like a blank page. Uh, it's not a great one. This is a popular one, Aquia Marina. So you can go down through here and you can see that there's different. This one I used in one side. At one uh, time. I, this is one of my favorite themes right here. This one? Yes. It's, uh, you download this one theme and it gives you three options to be able to use for this one. And it is, it's one of my favorite themes to use um, to start with. Well, let's check out the live demo they've got here. So this is bringing up... Uh, signalcoupe.com I'm imagining they're French or something but uh, this is the layout that you would be getting a pretty nice layout I like it a lot yes and it's got one column larger column and two smaller columns that you could set so instead of having like a left column and a right column and a center content they've got it all stacked to the right here or and the good thing about this theme that I like is you can have it set up to where it's opposite or where there's a left column, a right column, and a, and a center content column. So this is a very versatile theme uh, that you can use. And uh, I guess one of my favorite ones to use, you can use it for a lot of different things. Um, it's, it's a good theme. Yeah. Yeah, I did use it on a project also. I liked it a lot. Um, let's scroll down a little bit. We'll go back to, uh, oops, that one right there. And uh, you've got this one. I've used this on a uh, uh, another site. You could pick any one of these. These are the most popular ones. Uh, scroll down, but you'll notice that once you scroll to the bottom, that's not all of them. Like if we go to the last page, and if you're wondering how many themes are on Drupal.org, Sean and I were actually wondering, so we went and counted them for you. Um, there are 500 listed themes, and I'm betting there's hundreds more. And yes, yeah, so you can find them outside of the Drupal site. Yes, so hundreds of them outside the Drupal site. They're very nice, and this is just Drupal six point, uh, you know, point whatever. That doesn't include five, four, and seven. So uh, you you have a ton of choices of free themes that you can pick. All right, 
decisions, decisions. We got to decide which module or which theme we're going to install here. So I've been discussing with Sean. We've been going back and forth. Should we do Aquia Marina or the one he likes the best? And of course, we went with Sean's. I respect Sean. And uh, besides all that, this is probably the better module. All right, or the better theme. Better theme. So we're going to download it and uh, save it. And then we're going to go back over to our cPanel, log in, whatever you have to do. Scroll down just a little ways and go to File Manager. We'll go to the root there of your .com. Go in, and we're going to go to uh, HTML. I'll start from this. Now, it should take you right into your site, but just in case, go to Public HTML. And then you'll double click on your .com and then inside you're going to be Drupal install. Inside your Drupal install you want to go to sites, all, and themes. Now remember we're going to sites, all, themes instead of dropping this in the, the themes that shows up at first out in your, your first menu. Because when again like we said uh, with the module, if you update your site you're going to lose your theme and if you have your site all themed, you're going to lose a lot and a lot of work and you're going to, have to go back and recover all that. So remember we're going sites, all themes to drop in this new theme that we've downloaded. Yep. That's important because I've definitely done it in other areas. It doesn't work. All right. So we're going to go up to upload. We're going to go to browse and I download it to my downloads right there. Marinelli six. Am I pronouncing that right? Yes, I do believe so. Did you know English wasn't my best subject in school? Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't do good in English either. I'm better at reading than I am English. Like the verbs and nouns and all that stuff. Not good at that stuff. Mm. All right. So it's completed just now. So let's go back. And then now we have this target tar.gz there that of course is unreadable to our server so we're going to extract it extract files it's going to do us a little magic there and then now you can click this one and delete it delete files now Sean pointed out to me earlier that uh, you can hit this extract button if it's not grayed out but anytime you have those tar.gz's you can hit that one too all right, now we've got this. Let's go back to our, um, okay, we're going to go back to our website, and uh, what you'll do is go to site building, you'll go to themes and list. Click on list, and now you have listed down all your themes. Now, um, we've added that Marinelli, whatever, and it added this one. Scroll down here, it added this one. The Gnifit, I'm telling you, these guys are foreign somehow. And this one right here, and did it, I think it even added the Manelli right there. Maybe not. I'm not sure on that one. Don't quote me. But uh, it added quite a few themes. And notice there's other ones here. Everything with the 6.17 is a Drupal core theme. So let's, I, I could have checked it that way. It, it did not add the Manelli because it's a 6.17. So all these themes are now available to you. That makes it pretty easy, and you're right. There's different layouts there. You got the two columns, or the two sidebars and the middle column, or they shift them around, or you can go. Now, which one did you say you wanted on this one? Oh, let's do the the Giordani. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I couldn't say it either. So we're going to enable. Notice it says enable, and also select the default, but we're going to uncheck the other theme. Now, the reason that's important, if you leave them enabled, users can get on your site and they can change their themes. Well, you might not have checked out the other theme on how things look. So that could be, you could run into trouble. It's not disastrous, I don't think. No. But uh, it, you might run into a little trouble later on. So just check these two and uh, you can download whatever theme you want and do that. But for our purposes, we're going to do that right now. We're just going to check the enable and the default. Now we have this brand new look with a cool little background back there. And you're like, well, I don't really like the background back there. Well, that's easy to fix. Yes. The last thing I want to show you about themes here is uh, how to change that ridiculous mountain scene. I mean, it's pretty cool for the theme and everything. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
one of the things you'll probably not want rich window cleaner or whatever you have written in that font across there. So what we're going to do under global settings is we're going to take off the site name. And I like to take off the mission statement here. There's a few other things you can check or uncheck. Push save configurations. Then you go back to the top. It's still there. We'll go back to Giordanini and take off the site name there. Okay. Take off the mission statement. Go down. Save configurations. And voila. You have no more name. Just this nice little picture up there. Now let's change that picture. Go back to it. Now you might play around in here because there are places that you can change the logo and change the icon. The way this one's set up, though, it's a little harder to mess with because it rotates these pictures. So I'm going to show you a surefire way to get rid of that. So go to your cPanel. Go to your file manager and push go. Now it's going to take you to your root. Go to sites, all, and themes. You have a Marinelli. Now each theme is different as we go in here. So as I show you this, uh, know that it might be different, a little bit different for the theme that you choose, but basically it's the same concept here. Yes. So go into Marinelli. And we need to go down to images, it's IMG, and then we need to go to banners. Under banners, now notice this, I'm going to teach you a little bit about web design here. Rotate.php, what that is, is a little bit of script, a little bit of code that tells the browser or whoever's looking at the page uh, that they're going to get rotating pictures. So that rotate.php will rotate every single photo that the, you have in this thing, no matter what it is, as long as it's a JPEG, um, it'll rotate through. And so that's why you're getting that rotating banner at the top, which is kind of cool. Now, what you do not want to get rid of this rotate.php, because that'll destroy showing anything up top. You won't see anything if you destroy that. But you can either do one of two things. You can delete all these pictures and put your own picture in there, or you can delete them all except for, let's say, Zermatt, dot jpeg and rename your picture zermat dot uh, jpeg and put it in there just to make sure it's exactly like the creator intended and stuff like that uh, you can put four or five pictures in there or you can just put one and it's going to rotate that same one over and over and over and over until it's dead that's all it does is rotate it so that's where you would change out that um, particular file now so that rotate php is going to rotate your image over and over and over now if you're a designer and you want to design your own in like photoshop or, or, or somewhere that you design your gimp gimp um you can take one of these files open it up and it'll give you the the ratio that it needs to be to to resave and once you resave it you can put it in here and um jpegs yeah, that, jpegs I, I always use, I always grab their picture and do it over because if you try to size it yourself, you're going to be two pixels off and your whole site will be jacked up. Yeah. I mean, I always grab one of these pictures and so download one of these pictures before you delete it and use it as a template. Yeah. And uh, JPEGs are, are real good because they're smaller images so that they load up faster. Now, these sites will normally read um, PNGs and, and GIF uh, files. But JPEGs are a lot smaller. They're a lot simpler files for the, the net to read, and they'll load up a lot quicker uh, for your people and visiting your site. The size of them are listed right here, and notice none of them are really more than one kilobyte. And that's important. If you, if you make a file that's one megabyte, you're going to kill your site. It's going to take forever to load up. Yes. So you want to make sure that they're really small, like one kilobyte, 89. You know, that's not even one kilobyte right there. Or maybe it is. Maybe it's saying it's 89 kilobytes. Yes. And maybe that ends. Anyways, don't make them big. I can't read their numbers because it's like 1.555 and stuff like that. Um, anything else, Sean, on themes? I think that's it, Chad. But this, this gets you started on being able to pick different themes, being able to change your layout uh, to an extent um, to get you started. Mm -hmm.